On about 1.5 meters, well, 1 to 1.5 meters, I'd say. And the way I do it is I grab the needle in my hand, then I'll stretch it away from my chest. It's hard for me to do this with the camera in my hand. Uh, but basically, just to get enough idea of the length. Because uh, what we're going to do is we'll then cut it, tie a knot in it, and then start threading. Because we want a double stitch. You know, basically two, two lengths of thread going through the same holes. Tie a double knot when you cut the thread and just trim off the long tail. Stitching it, the first loop where we've got the knot started here. That's come out. Then it goes on the outside. Don't go on the inside. The outside of the back end. You pick up one of these loops. Well, hang on. One of these loops and then pull it back through. Then you loop it back through and under this one to go back over the next now because we're stitching along here i'm actually just going to loop all those three and stitch them up it's not actually going to do a lot maybe i'll make it a little bit tighter but it's more cosmetic i've stitched through every single one here as you can see it's just looped it round then now i've come to the end i did one here tight to the steering wheel um and now I I've done this other one as the first stitch, but now I'll do every second one. It doesn't need to be every single one. Um, it just doesn't need it. So I'm going to work my way round, round here to the top. Yeah. Um, how am I stitching here? What you've got is this stitch coming across here. So it's the second one down. It then goes across to this one, then it's two down, across, two down, across, two down. Very simple, a little bit tedious, but it should look nice when it's finished. Come down the stitching, you get to the joint, and because it's there's quite a large bump, as you can see here, so instead of doing every second one, you'll see I've dropped down into every single one because it sort of rounds it off and makes it a bit smoother. Uh, it's going together quite nicely actually. You're starting to get there as you can see. As you finish you can twist it around a bit so it's less visual. Not that it looks bad anyway. <laughs> um, it's sort of quite tidy. I put a couple extra stitches in here as well. I put one just as it turns then I've gone back through on the next one then I go back to doubles and as you can see I've got a little bit left. Where I started, as you can see, we stitched all the way around. Is that a bit of dust? Yeah. Um, it's not come out too bad. Now you're probably wondering, how do you finish a stitch? Well, what you want to do is go through one of these holes on the back. One of the yeah, that's one of these holes that these the threads already come through. One of these type holes. Then what you do is basically loop back through twice and then push the thread through the same hole twice and just pull it tight. Um, I'll try and show you. This is near impossible to do with the camera in my hand. <laughs> uh, but I will try. Uh, so let's just get a hole. So... As you can see, I'm coming through the back there, through a hole. Feed that through. Try not to get tangled up. This is one of the problems I've got with not having both hands, because I use my other hand to actually feed the thread. Um, it stops it getting tangled. So, as you can see, it's gone through that hole. I've got a bit of a loop from the last one I did. This is becoming a nightmare. Uh, right. So roughly that's what I've got. That's gone through the back. Come back through. And what I want to do is just go through the same hole twice. One. It's starting to tangle up. Okay. Okay. 
ones. Alright, let's try and go back through again. So, do that. Come back through once, twice, pull tight, and actually not. And all you do is cut that end off, and that is basically it. Not a bad job for a uh, hour. 